clock is ticking on primary season. It's almost over, folks, with voters headed to the polls in Rhode Island, Delaware, and New Hampshire. Hotly contested races highlighting a big rift among Republicans as, of course, they're fighting for control of Congress. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and Texas Senator Ted Cruz not on the ballots today, but uh, going head-to-head -head endorsing different candidates in one of the big races. Let's get right to Tom Dempsey, live in Washington with the latest. Tom. Good morning, Adrian. Yeah, with midterms now less than two months away, today will mark the last day of primaries before November. And if you're looking for any sort of political intrigue, look no further than New Hampshire. Yes, it may be a small state, but it carries some big weight if Republicans want to win control of the Senate in Congress. It's considered a battleground state, a purple one, and Senator Maggie Hassan is considered very vulnerable right now. This is probably the biggest race to watch today. We're talking about the Republican Senate primary in New Hampshire. Retired Army General Dan Balduck takes on Senate President Chuck Morse. Democrats have spent millions of dollars propping up Balduck, who they view as an easier opponent for Hassan. Balduck is an election denier and a very big supporter of former President Donald Trump. He even called the current Republican governor, quote, a Chinese communist sympathizer. Morse, on the other hand, has gotten endorsements from the governor and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, and he's viewed as the more mainstream candidate in that race. Another race to watch for, a New Hampshire Republican House primary considered a MAGA civil war since it involves two former Trump staffers going head to head. Matt Mowers has been endorsed by House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, while former Trump press aide Caroline Levitt has attracted people like Senator Ted Cruz on the campaign trail. Levitt is just 25 years old and a little bit of history here. She would become the youngest congresswoman ever elected if she wins her race. We also want to mention former TV reporter Gail Huff Brown. She's the wife of former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown. She's hoping for a surprise win as the two others try to woo MAGA supporters. Delaware and Rhode Island also hold primaries today, guys, with midterms now just 55 days away. Guys. All right, Tom, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.